Welcome guys, this is Ola from Stop Me O Channel. So this is just a short fun video. We're going to make a squad mates tier list on the tier maker website. I'm sure you know this. I'm going to leave the link down below. So if you want to, you can actually check it out. You can make a list of your own. You can share your results in the comment section if you want to. But first, something really needs to be said here. There's a leak, okay? There's a leak involving the Mass Effect Legendary Edition release date. And apparently, Apparently, it's meant to be out 12th of March 2021. So it's just two months from now. That's actually Friday, so that works so great. And this is also so early. Like, they did say that it would be out springtime, but I was expecting like late April, early May. They didn't actually confirm this either, so we don't know this for certain. But Eurogamer sort of confirmed that date. There's a bunch of credible sources confirming that. I'm, I'm beyond excited because that's just too two months from now. The only thing that's worrying me is that I won't move by then. Cause I'm sort of moving, I'm changing flats in about two, three months. I'll have like a separate studio with like a proper PC and all of that by then. I really wanted to stream the, the, the Mass Effect Legendary Edition because I'll have a proper PC. Now I'm on a laptop, so I can't really stream. Maybe I'll just record some, some of the first parts when it's out. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to solve that. That doesn't matter. I'm just so happy that it will be out soon. We still don't know what's going to be changed, what's going to be upgraded. I'm sure the textures and all of that, but will they make small gameplay changes, for example? Apparently they're going to mess with the endings too, because of that new trailer that sort of canonizes the destroy ending. I think they're going to change the ending a bit, or so we're told so. There are some rumors going on. I'm not certain if they're true or not. I guess some people who chose other endings wouldn't really want that, but anyone who wants Shepard to live needs to go for that destroy ending. And obviously, since uh, we don't know if Shepard's going to be back, but if they do canonize that ending, then there's definitely a, a chance that Shepard somehow might be back. I already discussed that in a video, so I'm not going to discuss that now. All I wanted to say is Mass Effect Legendary Edition might be out 12th of March in just less than two months. So that's so, so exciting. Right, back to the tier list. We're going to do this now. We're going to categorize the characters according to tiers. Uh, best, great, good, meh, or go away. Let me start with some obvious choices, okay? I am definitely placing Liara under best. Uh, she's my favorite squad mate. She's my femship's romance. Each time I'm replaying, replaying the trilogy, I'm playing as femship and Liara is, Liara is my, my, my well girlfriend, <laughs> however you'd call it, all throughout the three games. So that's really great. That's something I appreciate a lot. So she's definitely going uh, right to the top. Now, Thane. Thane is one of my favorite characters in that entire trilogy. He's definitely going all the way to the top. Uh, I love his redemption arc with his son and all of that. That's a bit of a spoiler from Mass Effect 3, but I absolutely loved, well, his funeral scene where Shepard was sort of praying for him. That was really touching. And yeah, so Thane definitely goes to best. Now, I should point out that this isn't the skills tier, so I'm not picking the best squad mates when it comes to them actually being helpful <laughs> while we're out. I, I actually always take Liara and my first two playthroughs of the entire trilogy, I used to take Garrus, Garrus uh, being my femship's best pal best buddy. I used to take Garrus, but then I found out that if you take Garrus, he's actually prioritized a bit. Sometimes there are certain lines that if you take Garrus, then Garrus delivers these. And for example, not Liara. So if you're playing the Leviathan DLC, there's a moment when a crewmate runs towards Shepard, grabs her back to that helicopter. If you take Garrus, then Garrus will do that. And if you take Liara and whoever else, doesn't matter, then Liara will grab Shepard. I did a, this three hours long video that was basically capturing every single Liara, Shepard, cutscene, every single interaction, even the tiniest ones. Uh, so I had to replay that Leviathan without taking Garus when I found out about that because it just fit more. That was in Mass Effect 3. Liara and a Shepard already had like a thing going on. They were quite stable. It made sense that in my playful Liara would 
go and grab Shepard and not Garrus. So there's a risk that if you take Garrus with you, he will be the one that's prioritized. And I want Liara to be prioritized. So I'm just not taking Garrus anymore, ever. However, I replaced him with Havik, and Havik also goes here. Let's actually place him next to Liara. I'm sure she'd love that. Yeah, I love taking Liara and Havik because they have these nice conversations. Like, obviously Havik, is, Havik has a tough character. He's not the easiest one. <laughs> Liara, she's fascinated with Protheans. So you know well that when she actually met Havik, she was so interested in him and she wanted to know more about him but he, he's not the easiest one like I mentioned before they had some fights they had to sort of find uh, a mutual respect like it wasn't there straight away so I found that interesting and I figured that Femship would like to take Havik with her him being a Prothean and I guess uh, he has a nice thing going on with with Liara next person we're going to put under best would be Taui. I used to take her a lot with me too. Female Shepherd cannot romance her but I find her to be a very good friend of mine and I like her side quest. Taui is such a great character and obviously so is Garrus so obviously they go to the best tier. Now when it comes to Morden, Morden was so great and in my playthrough he he sacrificed himself it was sort of a redemption arc too so i'm going to place him under best too you know i'm starting to worry worry that i will place everyone under best <laughs> no i won't okay jack jack was a great character and i said it so she obviously goes under great she was an interesting character also not the easiest one but i think most of the characters in um Mass Effect 2 side characters with their side quests, the loyalty side quests were pretty pretty interesting so so was Jack. Legion, yeah I liked him a lot, he also goes under, under great. So does ED, I think so at least. No, I'm gonna place ED under good. I, I liked her but I don't think there was a bond between me and her. James Vega, he goes under good. He was a good pal but like he was sort of hitting on me then when he found out that i'm with liara he was definitely respectful about that uh, you know why uh, he was in that garage in the, in the ship like uh in the cargo area i don't know i barely go there uh, i didn't spend much time he's a cool character but not not cool enough to um, fall under great category you know i keep thinking that maybe Morden should be right here i don't think i like him just as much as i like garris or taui okay rex Definitely goes under great. Um, Grant, even though he was very cool, he's not as cool as Rex, so he cannot be in the same category as as Rex. Uh, now, Samara, uh, she's gonna go under good. There's only space for one Asari in my heart, so she won't go under great. Zaid, he was okay. Like, if you spend time with him, if you do his loyalty quest, which was actually so easy to fail. I don't remember. Maybe I failed that quest, but you're allowed to fail, I think, one quest. Uh, definitely that one. And still make it possible for everyone to survive in Mass Effect 2. Zaid, um, that, that's the type of a character that I understand. I understand his motives and I did spend some quality time with him, however that would sound. But I just never really got to like like him as much. Kasumi, uh, I'm guilty of never having played that one DLC. I never played that one DLC. I'll do it when the Legendary Edition is out. I played the trilogy a bunch of times, but I never got that DLC. I don't know why, so she's gonna go under meh, but mostly because I um, don't know her. Well, well, that works, okay. <laughs> right, now there's uh, Miranda. I know that many many guys like her. I think she's the type of a character that really appeals to your typical... how, how to say that? She's the type of a woman that many uh, guys would like. She has that physical look and I don't know. I, I'm i not certain. Like I, sh I would put her like somewhere be between these two. But I'm gonna place her under... good. Yeah, okay. I mean, her whole sister arc, that was interesting. So I like that. That's okay. Ashley and Kaden. Our famous who are you going to sacrifice uh, dilemma and mass effect. That was actually really cool when I played it for the first time. I didn't know who to sacrifice. I sacrificed Ashley. Ashley is a bit of an alien racist. <laughs> but yeah, some people defend her. I'm, I'm not certain. I don't. I can't say I really cared about Ashley that much. So she's going under meh. Kaden. Kaden was annoying later on. 
Uh, so, but I'm not certain if I would place him under go away. So I'm going to place him here. Now Jacob. I dislike Jacob so much. I, I, I actually dislike him enough not to invite him to my citadel party. I never invite him to my citadel party. He was kind of annoying and I remember when when we met him again, I think in Mass Effect 3, and he had like a, I don't know, fiance or a wife or a partner. I think she was pregnant. And he said to Shepard, oh, you know what? The love of your life will always be your mission or something. I felt so offended because I was in a, I was in a serious relationship with Liara. And he found someone that he spent like five minutes with and he's bold enough to like patronize me and tell me that his relationship is uh, somehow more important than mine. Hello, Jacob. Uh -huh. So uh, Jacob's under go away. <laughs> I don't like him. I never take him on my quests and I never invite him to my citadel party. So there we go. Uh, do we agree with this? I think we do. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. Yes. I think that's fair enough. These are definitely my favorite characters. I guess Thane is definitely my least favorite when it comes to these. Maybe we should do that as well. Oh, that makes sense. Um, yeah, that way. If we're going to make that, we might as well. Yeah, Morden, Rex, Legion and Jack. Now when it comes to these ones, ED, Grant, uh, James, Samara and Miranda, these ones, yeah, Caden, Ashley and Kasumi, and yeah, that's definitely it. So the best one is definitely Liara, most definitely Liara, and my least favorite one, that's definitely Jacob. So that's it. What do you think about my tier list? I'm going to leave the link down below. You can make your own. And uh, I guess that's it for now. We'll be making more Mass Effect videos and we'll be definitely recording or streaming the Mass Effect Legendary Edition when it's out, possibly 12th of March. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, it helps a lot. Do remember to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon if you, if you can support me, then please do. Big shout out to all my patrons, by the way. Stay safe, guys. This was Ara from Stop Me Old Channel. Bye.